Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we are going to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. A quadratic equation in standard form is easily solved when its left side is factorable. Problem arises when it cannot be factored. A different method is required for such case. One method of solving quadratic equations that works whether the equation can be factored or not is the method of completing the square. The main task in using this method is to produce a perfect square trinomial on the left side of the quadratic equation. Here we will also use square root property to solve the equation. To better understand the process, here is an example. Solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 8x plus 12 equals 0. Here, we first need to separate terms with a variable and a constant. We will retain all terms with variable x on the left side. Those are x squared and 8x. And then the constant 12 will be moved to the right side. It will then change its sign to negative 12. Next, we need to make the terms on the left side a perfect square trinomial. Here we will get the half of the linear coefficient 8. Half of 8 is 4. And then we will square this value. The square of 4 is 16. Thus, the left side expression is x squared plus 8x plus 16, which is a perfect square trinomial. Now, since we added 16 on the left side of the equation, we need to add 16 also on the right side to make the equation balance. Negative 12 plus 16 is positive 4. Equation now is x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 4. Next, we will factor the left side expression. Recall that when factoring a perfect square trinomial, we first get the square roots of the first and last terms. Square root of x squared, which is the first term, is x. Square root of the last term, which is 16, is 4. Next, we copy the sign or operation of the middle term. In this example, the middle term is positive, so we will use addition operation between the two square roots. Binomial will be x plus 4. Lastly, we will raise this binomial by 2. Left side will become the square of quantity x plus 4. Applying square root property on both sides of the equation, the square root of quantity x plus 4 squared is simply x plus 4. Square root of 4 are positive 2 and negative 2. Solving for x, we will transpose positive 4 to the right side. Equation will become x equals negative 4 plus and minus 2. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Hence, the values of x in the quadratic equation x squared plus 8x plus 12 equals 0 are negative 6 and negative 2. For our second example, determine the values of x in the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 4x minus 30 equals 0. Now when given this kind of equation, we first need to make sure that the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term is equal to 1. In this example, the quadratic term's coefficient is equal to 2. So what we will do is to divide all the terms by 2. Quadratic term will be 2x squared divided by 2, or simply x squared. 4x divided by 2 is 2x. Negative 30 divided by 2 is negative 15. Right side will still be 0. Doing the previous procedure, we will transpose negative 15 to the right side. It will become positive 15. Now we need to supply a constant on the left side of the equation for it to become a perfect square trinomial. 
Here, we will get the half of the linear coefficient, then have it squared. Half of 2 is 1. The square of 1 is also 1. Thus, the expression x squared plus 2x plus 1 is now a perfect square trinomial. Now, since we added 1 on the left side of the equation, to make the equation balance, we will add 1 on the right side. 15 plus 1 is 16. Equation now is x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 16. Next, we will factor the left side expression. Get the square roots of the first and last terms. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 1 is also 1. Copying the sign of the middle term, which is addition, thus the binomial is x plus 1. Lastly, raise this binomial by 2. Left side of the equation is quantity x plus 1 squared. Applying square root property on both sides of the equation, the square root of the square of quantity x plus 1 is simply x plus 1. Square root of 16 are positive and negative 4. Solving for x, we will transpose 1 to the right side. It will become negative 1. x is now equal to negative 1 plus and minus 4. Negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. Hence, the values of x in the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 4x minus 30 equals 0 are negative 5 and 3. For our last example, solve the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Just like the previous example, we need to make sure that the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term is equal to 1. In this example, the coefficient of the quadratic term is 4. So we need to divide all the terms by 4. 4x Four squared divided by 4 is x squared. Negative 5x divided by 4 is negative 5x over 4. Negative 6 divided by 4 is negative 3 over 2. Right side will still be 0. Following the previous steps, we will transpose negative 3 over 2 to the right side. It will become positive 3 over 2. Now we need to supply a constant on the left side of the equation for it to become a perfect square trinomial. Here we will get the half of the linear coefficient, then have it squared. Half of negative 5 over 4 is negative 5 over 8. Square of that, negative 5 squared is positive 25. Square of 8 is 64. Thus, the constant term is 25 over 64. Adding the same value on the right side of the equation, it will become x squared minus 5x over 4 plus 25 over 64 equals 3 over 2 plus 25 over 64. Next, we will factor the left side expression, get the square roots of the first and last terms. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 25 over 64 is 5 over 8. Copying the sign of the middle term, which is subtraction, thus the binomial is x minus 5 over 8. Lastly, Raise this binomial by 2. Left side of the equation is quantity x minus 5 over 8 raised to 2. Adding the constant terms on the right side, we first need to get the LCD or the least common denominator. LCD of 3 over 2 and 25 over 64 is 64. Rewriting 3 over 2 in terms of 64 as the denominator 64 divided by 2 is 32, times 3 is 96. Now adding 96 and 25, sum is 121 over 64. Applying square root property on both sides of the equation, the square root of quantity x minus 5 over 8 squared is simply x minus 5 over 8. Square root of 121 over 64 are positive and negative 11 over 8. 
Solving for x, we will transpose negative 5 over 8 to the right side. It will become positive 5 over 8. x is now equal to 5 over 8 plus and minus 11 over 8. 5 over 8 plus 11 over 8 is 16 over 8. 16 over 8 can be simplified as 2. 5 over 8 minus 11 over 8 is negative 6 over 8. Simplifying this, both numerator and denominator are divisible by 2. Thus, it is equal to negative 3 over 4. Hence, the values of x in the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0 are negative 3 over 4 and 2. Thank you for watching. God bless.